Hello, this presentation is brought to you by Titan Wells Alcohol, Marijuana, and Other Drugs Team at California State University Fullerton. And this presentation is Alcohol, How Much is Too Much? Uh, before we begin, I want to briefly go over CSUF policies regarding alcohol. Um, one cannot buy, sell, or consume alcohol on CSUF property that's considered uh, areas of student living, such as the dormitories. However, in limited instances, such as at sporting events uh, or in the on-campus apartments, if everyone in the room is over the age of 21, um, people can consume alcohol in those instances. Uh, so our first slide here is binge drinking. Binge drinking is classified as drinking a lot of alcohol in a short period of time. For women, that's considered four drinks in two hours, and for men, that's considered five drinks in two hours. Uh, when we drink more than that, we're gonna our BAC, our blood alcohol concentration, is really gonna rise, and that's we're gonna experience the effects of um, intoxication. So high risk situations, high risk situations are situations where college students experience the most harm when it comes from drinking. So um, social situations include 21st birthdays, Halloween, or any kind of party or holiday. Um, social activities include uh, shotgunning beers, drinking games, or mixing alcohol with energy drinks. That one's pretty dangerous because alcohol is a depressant and energy drinks are stimulants. So when we combine the two, we're going to mask the effects of intoxication and then uh, we might be encouraged to drink more. So some commonly methods that we've heard college students use to sober up include eating bread, taking a cold shower, uh, drinking coffee, or sleeping it off. However, the only way is time. So in this instance, this person has had uh, five standard shots of hard liquor and two standard drinks of beer. So that's about seven hours it's going to take for them to sober up. So tolerance. Tolerance is a problem because um, it basically means we need to drink more in order to feel the desired effect. Um, so in this instance, a male who is 180 pounds has had six drinks in two hours. So their BAC is 0.105 which is well above the legal driving limit of 0.08. Um, so they're illegally drunk. However, they only feel like they're at a 0.04 or bust. So driving under the influence, this is the most risky thing you can do when it comes to drinking. Um, and we highly discourage you from doing this. Um, the cost of a DUI in California is about $45,000 or two CSUF degrees. And aside from the financial costs, there is the cost of putting yourself and the lives of others at risk. So. Uh, uh, to combat this, we recommend that you have a rideshare app planned if you do choose to drink, like Lyft or Uber, or to have a DD drive you or a designated driver who has to be sober. So Aware Awake Alive is a program that was started by Carson. You see on the left there, he passed away some years ago due to alcohol poisoning. He was from Cal Poly Slow. He was rushing a fraternity there, and um, he experienced alcohol poisoning, however, his fraternity brothers didn't want to take him to the hospital out of fear of getting in legal trouble, so he did pass away, but his family started to wear awake alive um, to identify the symptoms of alcohol poisoning. We use an acronym called CUPS. Uh, so C stands for cold and clammy skin, U stands for unconscious, P stands for puking, and S stands for slowed or irregular breathing. Um, and if one experiences any of these symptoms, we highly recommend you call 911. After that, we recommend that you get this person into the recovery position which is shown at the bottom right. This prevents them from choking on their vomit. And then the last thing you wanna do is stay with them to make sure that they're still breathing. Uh, in California, we also have the Good Samaritan Law, uh, which protects those under the age of 21 from getting in legal trouble due to alcohol poisoning. So let's say you are calling on the behalf of someone else, you're both under the age of 21, um, then neither of you will get in any legal trouble um, so long as you comply with the paramedics and law enforcement. However, everyone else at the party who's under the age of 21 is gonna to have to have an exit strategy because they can get in trouble. All right, that concludes this presentation. Here are some resources for you and thank you.